My name is Andrea Vinay, and the topic of this video is going to be my approach to playing roughs on snare drum, hence the title, Life's Rough, So Lift. And I'll be using my Black Swamp Concert Drum. It has a brass shell, it's five inches deep, and has a Sound Art Series snare strainer underneath, and a bronze patina finish. Uh, I really love this drum, so I'm going to plug it. It's incredibly responsive at all dynamic levels, so it works really well for delicate passages, but I also use it for rudimental solos. I really, really like it, so great job, Black Swamp. There's your plug. <laughs> um, so before we talk about my approach to rough, let's define what a rough is. In its most basic form, it is a three-stroke rough, which means that there are two grace notes that precede a main note, and that's played with a diddle followed by a single stroke. A four-stroke rough is almost the same. We just sneak in one extra note before the diddle so that we have four total. Now, my approach to playing roughs is to lift, and what that means is I'm just a little bit more thoughtful about the follow-through and coming off the drum at the completion of the stroke and thinking about the natural motion of rebound, which we should always be doing on snare drum. Uh, what goes down must come up, so don't forget that. And when we're really thoughtful about those two motions, down and up, we're more in control of what happens in between them. This is Lieutenant Kiji, a well-known orchestral excerpt for snare drum by Prokofiev. The challenges here are maintaining consistency at very low dynamic levels while having clarity with your three and your four stroke roughs and maintaining a nice balance between the alternated rhythms in the hands. Thinking about lifting my roughs is really helpful with this one, first and foremost, because it helps to not accidentally buzz those low roughs, which can be easy to do when you're playing really close to the drum and playing very softly. Uh, it also helps with future planning. It helps me to prep my left hand to be ready to go to play the 16th note rhythms with the right hand uh, after playing the roughs and the diddles in the left hand. With roughs, I think uh, lifting and just thinking about coming off the drum is really helpful for several reasons. The first of which is balance, and that's in terms of the two grace notes plus the main note, and in terms of the ornamented note with a rough in a musical context. Uh, first, I like to think about roughs as being uh, more in the same dynamic range, the same dynamic ballpark, as you will, as the main note versus something like a flam where we're going to put that grace note really low at most dynamic levels. Uh, with roughs, they are secondary in nature because they are ornamenting things, but if they're closer in dynamic to the main note, then I feel like it's easier to get rebound, it's easier to get clarity, and you also have something to work with uh, prior to adding articulations like accents. So I'll demonstrate forte, mezzo forte, piano, uh, roughs that are not accented, and you can just uh, see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna be lifting and kind of keeping my hands just in the same dynamic range as each other. Now, if I want to accent something, I simply add a little bit more velocity and a little bit more height on that main hand. And so I'll play three notes and I'll accent the middle one. But you'll see that my rough will stay the same. In terms of uh, balance, it also helps uh, with not accenting things that shouldn't be accented. Meaning, if I'm playing my roughs really low and really uh, subservient to the main note at all times, it can make that note that's being ornamented sound accented. And, and how often have you heard your teacher uh, tell you to not accent roughs and flams uh, that are not accented in the music? Uh, I think especially at low-level dynamics where we don't have a lot of runway to work with anyway, if we're thinking about playing really down into the drum, it can make notes uh, 
jut out in the texture. Uh, so I'll play a few roughs and I'll just think about keeping my uh, left hand really, really low. So if I want to play non-accented notes, and then play the rough even lower, it sounds sort of accented. And I think especially in things like De La Cluz or Lieutenant Kiji, which we'll talk about in a little bit, um, we really have to be really thoughtful about how we come off the drum and how we set up that hand so that things don't sound accented that aren't supposed to be. Um, the third thing about balance is it helps with future planning. If I am lifting my rough and just making sure it's coming off the drum, then it helps just uh, set that hand up to be successful in the things that follow. So how often do we have roughs, especially at piano, where we're playing so low that it gets kind of bogged down, like there's peanut butter on the top of the drum head, and it's not ready to play at the same height as the right hand or the hand that, uh, it, you know, whatever hand you're, you're playing your roughs off of. Um, so I think it just, it really helps to set up your hands for success dynamically. Um, in Lieutenant Kiji, this is uh, prevalent where we have the roughs and then the 16th and 8th note alternated rhythms, uh, which I'll demonstrate here in a second. After the left hand plays that rough, it needs to be ready to play that 16th note. Um, so I'll do it the way I would normally play it. This is going to be the second phrase of Lieutenant Kiji. Now, while the right hand is doing the bulk of the work, that left hand plays on the uh of the beat, and that note is very, very important. So your left hand has to be ready to go. Now, I'll just think about dropping my rough and keeping it really, really low, and we'll see how that uh, makes the rhythm sound a little bit wonky. <laughs> It definitely doesn't have the same kind of flow and it kind of makes, you know, it just, it makes it sound angular when it's not supposed to be. The second big thing in terms of lifting roughs that I think um, is helpful and beneficial is that if we're thinking about lifting our roughs and coming off the drum, it helps combat tension in the hands. And especially again at soft dynamic levels, like things with Kiji, uh, it's easy to get a little bit tense because we're trying to play as low as humanly possible towards the drum and we're trying to you know, be a control freak and micromanage everything. And that sometimes can inhibit rebound and it can cause us to squeeze, which makes us lose flexibility in our fingers and our wrist. And when that happens, we're unable to um, rebound. And so I think lifting a little bit after your roughs, even if it's a very subtle motion at piano, for example, it helps my fingers sort of reset it gives them a little bit of a breather and I can recalibrate the weight of the stick in my hand because that's really important. This is how we are, we're leveraging this implement against the drum to do what we need to do. Lifting a little bit just helps me to be aware of the weight of the stick in my hand and, and I can utilize um, a lighter touch to get low level dynamics. Um, so this whole tension thing is really important because the third reason why I like to lift my roughs, which is the most obvious, I suppose, is it keeps you from buzzing them. How often have we gone to play an open rough, either three or four strokes, and uh, we accidentally buzz it? And that's simply caused because we're squeezing too much. You know, a buzz stroke, the difference is I squeeze. So if I'm squeezing unintentionally, maybe because I'm trying to play really low all the time and I'm trying to be a control freak at lower dynamic levels and my hand gets tight and I'm losing flexibility, then you're going to get more bounces than you want. So if you're lifting that rough and you're being really thoughtful about the follow through and the upstroke, then you can grab that stick so it bounces twice. Uh, and I think that's really helpful. And so with Kiji especially, that uh, really applies because you have to be really in control of those three and those four stroke roughs. Um, hopefully this video has been helpful and remember life's rough, so lift.